This is my time to get things done. You can do this. You can do this. This is your time. Yes, yeah. nice. That's All right. right. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> a little bit different than I had imagined. Oh, oh, sorry. That, that's an no, old that's one. all right. Hey, there's it looks like one. a little bit more of a accurate portrayal. Yeah. Interesting. We doing yeah. okay today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Awesome, Thanks. awesome. <laughs> this is nice. That's, you know. Well, it's a different look. Yeah, you know, more, a little, little bit different than what I kind of had in mind. Interesting. Both good pictures. Mm -hmm. Both good. I, um, this is cool. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm getting a lot of calls. Could we this. lose that, possibly, for, I, for us? No, we were kind of thinking of a cleaner, cleaner look here. Okay. You know? Yeah, if necessary, definitely. Yeah. All right. Um, have a seat. See what we can. Okay. See what we got here. Do you have any questions, Doc? Uh, no, Sue. Thanks. Okay. Whenever you're ready. All you All can, can do, do is, is breathe. 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 Can you smell that? That's the holidays. <laughs> yeah. I usually stop here on my way back. I, I work the whole East Coast. Oh, yeah. Up and down the coast. <laughs> and this time of year, it slows down. Everyone's Everyone's going home to see their families. You got a family? No, no. I'm, uh, I'm single. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, cool. Thank you, Doug. That was, uh, that was great. We'll be in touch, okay? You want to know the truth? Well, the truth is... You're none of them. And if you really want to know, they're leading men. You can be a leading man. <laughs> Doug, let's face it. Your days of being a leading man are over. I'll have you know, there are plenty of leading men around my age. My point is, they don't start out old. Now, with that said, I do have a plan to get you a high profile job. You do. It's in the works, but yes, it's happening. It just so happens that I can get my practice off the ground faster when you become rich and famous. So listen to me when I tell you, you are a great actor. You're amazing at what you do. You're witty and smart. You find good roles. Take up great opportunities. All my movies are shit. But you were great in them. We were all fucked up. It was the 80s. Who cares? The only thing those suits give two fucks about nowadays is the fucking box office. And when you don't deliver, they can your ass so fast you wouldn't even know. It's as simple as that. They judge you because you failed. But because you were never a leading man, there's still hope for you. And what's the big deal? What? <laughs> Do you want a fucking Oscar or something? Yeah, I guess. But it's only a supporting role. Even supporting roles get nominations? No, yeah, we got nothing. Not a supporting role nomination, not even a Razzie. Fuck I got nothing. <laughs> At least we weren't the best worst. Did pretty good in festivals. What's a good festival run worth these days? My point is, you can make a decent living at what you do. Getting bit parts, booking commercials, little things like that. Isn't that good enough? Yeah, I guess. Doug, 
I just don't know what you want from me. I want to be respected. What deal with the devil do I have to make for that to happen? I don't know. I'm not your agent. I can't get you the work, but I can guide you to it. But only if you give me something to work with. Like what? I don't know. A fucking reel or something. You got a reel, don't you? You had to give it to your agent or something? <clears throat> you do have an agent, don't you? Don't you? You know what? I think we're done here. Gosh, come on, Doug. I'm just looking out for your best interest, that's all. Was it something I said? That's it. Okay, so so I go in, they want me, they see me, I have that confidence. It's the look. Oh my god, I can't believe this is exactly what we're looking for. Ooh. Stay in this lane, buddy. <laughs> you may not know where you're going, but I know where I'm going. <laughs> I answer it to the top. Oh, okay, okay. signed with Becky? I did. <laughs> and I want to thank you for pushing me and telling me to stop being a lazy bitch. Ready for this or what? Oh, fuck shit. Charlie, there you are. Yeah. Okay, so we uh, <clears throat> let's go to rehearsal from yesterday. We changed up a few things, right? Yeah, we changed some of the blocking. Yes, that's right. I think I came this way, and instead of him just grabbing his keys off the table, I, I put my hand over his to um, to. Yes. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, right. so, uh, saw the cast list. Mm-hmm. What about it? <laughs> well, uh, I was wondering what the fuck, man. Excuse me? Look, I, I don't know what kind of show you're trying to put on here, but it was my part and you just gave it away. I don't know what you're talking about. 
You know how hard I worked on that part? I gave it my all day in and day out. You know I am the perfect guy to play Willie Loman. But, but you just cut me out. Okay. What do you want from me, Duke? What you can do for me is recast the show. <laughs> recast the show? The fuck you think you are? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you? You fucking out at my class. Technically, you shouldn't even be here. Well, technically, I have been acting since before you were born. Technically, I can kick you out of my building so fucking fast that you never know what hit you. You're bluffing. Oh, am I? <laughs> Look at you. You fucking has been. No, oh, sure, you've been in things here and there. Yeah. But you, my friend, are no leading man. You're pathetic. Look, we're going more modern with the show, therefore I cast younger, okay? This shit happens all the time, dog. But you wouldn't know anything about it, would you? Line! No wonder you're all alone. You know what you are? You're a washed up old man waiting to die. And I just can't believe you haven't done us all the favor and already killed yourself. What are you waiting for, dog? <laughs> Don't fucking push me. I will end you. You hear me? I will fucking end you. You motherfucker! Get the fuck out of my gas! You never walk in this town ever again! You hear me? Never! Are you okay? Oh my god, oh my god, Andrew, Andrew. Call 911. Somebody call an ambulance! Connie, give me your phone. Hello? We need help. Someone's having a heart attack. It's the easy way, the hard way. It's all up to you. I can be any way you want me to be. In fact, I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna find out if this really works. I mean, maybe you can use it on your parole here, you know? My dreams have all been taken away from me because of you. And I am sick of all the bullshit. I'm sick of all the lies. I mean, maybe you can use it on your parole here and get an early release. What do you think about that? Huh? It's all over for me. You did? It's all over. You'd like to see it any other way?
The where matters not, it's the why you should be concerning yourself with. What do you want with me? I, I am nothing, I'm a, I'm a nobody. <laughs> True, but that's all going to change. Soon the world will know the name Doug Bridgers, one of the greatest actors to grace stage or screen. I'm here to ensure you don't stray from the path to stardom. As I've had to do many times in the past, I'm intervening. So a genius isn't forgotten in his own era. Are you not Doug Bridges? Did I get the wrong fucking guy? <clears throat> no. You're him. You're the Doug Bridges. Well, before your prime, mind you, my boy, we have work to do. Look at you. Pitiful, has been, never was. Living in squalor, rejected, passed over, pathetic. I'm a big fan. I know your story all too well. The times and places change, but it all ends about the same. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yes, I'm quite familiar with the sordid details of your career's path, as well as the tumultuous home life, intertwined, woven in the looms for telling. Once filled with promise and hope, your talent and potential overshadowed by better looking, better connected, and now younger actors, taking the leading parts while you're cast time and time again in supporting roles. You tried gallantly at first, hide the resentment, humbly feigning appreciation. But it made you bitter, angry. Honestly, it affected your work, made it darker. I'm partial to this chapter. You turned that misery into some real compelling performances. Still, unappreciated by everyone, directors, fellow actors, critics, Everyone feeling pitiful and hollow. The drinking helped, but when that became too much of a problem, she came into the picture. Cleaned you up and put you back on your feet. 
With her by your side, you redoubled your efforts, auditioning as hard as ever, struggling through the two-faced, backstabbing nature of the beast, making even some small success with a television role. But forgettable flashes fade out fast. The money came and went, and before long, she did too. The rift between you grew, you being emotionally unavailable for her, she blaming your craft, a sacrifice you'd never make. Lost again, the comforts of the drink came back, and before long you find yourself out, month to month, living in a piss-smelling hovel, killing yourself over how you could have done it better, blaming yourself for... <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Doug. Would you look at yourself? <sighs> Frankly, it's disgusting. They say never meet your heroes. Enough already. Save the waterworks for the big screen. Get a hold of yourself, Bridget. <laughs> Honestly, you left me no other choice. Cheer up, friend. I'm here to tell you your story's not a tragedy. It's not? No. It's a comedy. <laughs> and I know the punchline. A comeback tale for the ages. The big break that is the spark that lights it all up for you. Uh, I'm sorry, what is this? Who the fuck are you? Always the wrong questions. With many moniker over the millennia, it's hard to keep track. If you must, you can refer to me as Balthazar, but the important element is that everything you've been working toward, all that you ever desired, is within your grasp if you simply listen Trust me. Oh, yeah? So, why now, huh? I mean, after all the shit I've endured, I've been fucked over, and every effort has been shunned. So, so why now? Why me, huh? Because you are in possession of the greatest gift ever bestowed on mankind. The power to entertain. Once for a brief moment in time, a performer emerges, inhabited by the flame. When that fire is fed properly, it can grow into an all-consuming inferno. Undeniable, inescapable, burning so bright it draws all focus. You, my boy, are such a chosen vessel. The fire resides within you. With it, you will blaze a path of glory. The prodigal phoenix. You'll show them all, Doug. You'll show them all. Hey! Hey! Crashing waves, as if Poseidon himself applauds your talents. Can you hear it within the maelstrom, Doug? The thunderous, roaring audience. It's intoxicating. A siren's call, driving many a thespian to a depraved and demented madness. This quest for the veneration the audience can provide has left scores of 
unworthy unknowns, destitute and miserable, dying lonely paupers' deaths. This is not what fate has in store for you. So what say you, Douglas? Will you set a course for destiny? You know, I smoked a little grass in my time, but I don't think I'm prepared for whatever devil flesh, fairy bullshit you have there. Your puritanical prudishness is really preventing you from having a good time. Besides, this is merely some of the bard's own herb. It's more of a symbolism than the act of smoking. Do you not trust that I have your best interests in mind? Yeah. We're all the same. We don't pass. Very well, then. I suppose we should get you back to it, then, shall we? Doug, let's be clear. I know I'm your manager and all, but you need this. It'll only help your career. Well, what's left of it. Technology, demand for social media, this shit's here. You need to learn to love it if you want to get in the game. Right, all right. See, right now, we're small fish in a giant fucking ocean. So, well. In order to get the better roles, you need to catch the bigger fish, which means be more competitive. It's gonna be harder to get the roles you want, that's all. Right now, I could probably get you a decent student film that pays, like AFI or something. You gotta crawl before you can walk. You know, a lot of this you can take yourself with your phone, you know, start a YouTube, get yourself out there. So when am I gonna get my big break? Well, there's this party this weekend that a bunch of actors slash filmmakers are throwing. Some short release party. No thanks. Are you kidding? You know, a lot about this business is networking, and I can't do this shit all by myself. Besides, there's gonna be a lot of people there, and it's guaranteed to be one hell of a night. Actors everywhere, models everywhere. And you know what that means? Networking. <laughs> Who knows, something could happen. You really think so? Of course. I mean, come on, man. It's Hollywood.
Keep it here for the rock and sweepstakes giveaway. Coming up next, your chance to win big and sell tickets to the hottest snow events. All right, we're back for another 30 kilometers. You don't like that, do you? Yeah. Hurts, does it? Like it, do you, huh? It hurts, doesn't it, motherfucker? Not in the house, Charlie. No one was supposed to be there. Well, it wasn't supposed to be there. No one was supposed to be there, Charlie. Not in the house. No one was supposed to be there. No one was supposed to be there, Charlie. Not in the house. Bridges auditioning for the role of Spike. <clears throat> All right, Doug. Uh, whenever you're ready. You know, a cross country truck it really is all about. It's about going cross country. Okay. Uh, whenever you're ready. Okay. Go right into it. Okay. Come on. time they're on uppers because they got to go all the way through you know got to go from one coast to the other coast that's the problem it's most of the time they don't even realize it. most time they don't realize that they're even spot okay all right cool thank you yeah thank you next i don't want to hear it you, you come in there you get in my way i'm trying to save a life you understand that i i'm trying to save this woman i mean she's on my table i am operating on her and you come in there and you start bothering me I mean, who do you think you are? Dad, can you, I'm sorry, uh, can, can you give me some different levels, please? I mean, you just seem to be, it's a lot of angst, very angry, you know, and your relationship with this person, there's a little more to it. Give me a little different levels. It's kind of one note. I mean, you understand, he's, he's, he's upset. She's injured his operating room. And it's just, it's too down. loud and it's too one note. How dare you come into my ER and start telling me what to do? It, it is my operating room. I, I don't I don't expect you to understand that. You're new here. You, you don't understand what's going on in this ER, but right now I am in charge. I am the God here. You understand that? So, so don't come in interrupting my operation when in fact... Make it fantastical. Excuse me? Make it more fantastical. Fantastical. Mm -hmm. do, do you have questions about that? Do you understand what that means? Okay.
Right on red. Right on red. Jesus. Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Jesus, it's a stop in the park. You could have made it. Come on, no guts, no glory. Let's go. One time you don't want to get behind an asshole, and you do, of course. Seriously? We'll fucking kill you. Out of the car. Get out of the fucking car. You got something Excuse to fucking me? say? Get out of the fucking car and say. Excuse me. You got a fucking problem? No. What's that? No. You want a fucking piece of me? Oh, fuck off. The fuck did you say to me? You heard me. Fuck off. Hey! <laughs> Well done. What do you care? <clears throat> I must say, Doug, this is a damn fine cup of coffee. The place is a bit of a shithole, though. Eh? Mm. Mm. Real grade eight Minicano shit there. Do love a good dark roast. Ooh, that's some nasty shiner you've got there, boy. Making new friends. So what now? Plugging away just to be shit on? I can't keep living like this. Oh, honestly, Doug, lighten up. It's not the end of days. So you stink up a few audition rooms. No shortage of those in Hollywood land. Plenty more on the horizon. Fuck you. This is bullshit. You know, no, this is all so fucking unfair. They just give me a chance. I mean, what do I have to do? Crucify some motherfuckers? Honestly, Doug, you needn't stoop to such lowly behavior. Besides, it's not your style. It's mine. 
I can be intimidating. <laughs> Dougie, sweetie, you can play those roles. And I know you're referring to your showdown with your acting coach. I wouldn't call that successful coercion. Did you get what you wanted out of that little altercation? Motherfucker gave the role to someone else. The petty complaints of a bitter old man. It's sad, Doug, but nobody gives a fuck about the theater anymore. You want to play Willie Loman? Play it on the big screen. Or the small screen. Or the even smaller screen. Honestly, Doug, don't you understand? The adoration potential for these technological terrors is substantially larger. You need exposure, friend. And the theater just simply doesn't have the audience capacity for a Doug Bridges performance. So I'm supposed to get on Instagram, take selfies, make myself look like a desperate asshole? That's gonna make me a star. The only thing you have in this world is what you can sell. There's your fucking Arthur Miller. In this case, Doug, you are the product. And you have to convince these bastards that this decomposing, lamentable, common-looking old gas bag is worthy of purchase. You've got to sell yourself, my boy. No, no, no. See, that's where Gil comes in. I'm the talent, he's the manager. That's how it works. Don't be so naive, Doug. It's obvious that Gil isn't concentrating on your career. Perhaps he has more promising irons in the fire distracting him. Gil is looking out for Gil. So what's your deal? Nothing. I'm merely a fan of torturing, uh, of, of tortured artists. Hello? Doug? Doug, it's me and Gil. Where are you? Hey, I'm at the Galleria. I'm in a meeting with a high-profile director. We are gonna get you some work. Really? With who? You'll see. It's all part of the plan. Just listen, you remember that party you mentioned to you earlier? Yeah. Go to it. Get there any way you can. Your career well, lies in the balance. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Now your head's in the fucking game. Look, I gotta go. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I know, right? I love your wow. floors. Oh, thank you. They cost me a fucking fortune to install. That's really great. I'll show you guys around. Come on, right?
Do you play? What? Uh, me? No, no, I, I was just admiring. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. It's just uh, uh, me and music. It. Uh, I like how it sounds. Uh, I love to listen to it. It makes me feel alive. <laughs> do, do you play? I know a thing or two. But I'm not exactly selling out Carnegie Hall. Yeah. Well, I bet no one here is a child prodigy, so. My boyfriend is. But he's not here right now. I'm Candace. Doug. Nice to meet you, Doug. And you. <clears throat> so, who do you know around here? Oh, uh, uh, my manager. Uh, he's he's around here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he invited me, so I thought I'd come and check it out. And who is your manager? Oh, smart young guy by the name of Gil Shepard. You may know him. Never heard of him. And so, what is it that you do, anyway? I'm an actor. Oh. What have you been in? Ever seen... Siamese Kiss? Yeah, well, it bombed. Went straight to DVD success in the US and now is a cult classic in Japan. I was in that. But uh, mostly I've just done a bunch of commercials, uh, short films. Short films or like student films? No. Short films. Oh. Well, you'll have to show me. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever wanted to see any of the movies I've done. It's just all a bunch of small shit, that's all. How would you like to take a grand tour? Yeah, sure. So, uh, you know the people that own this place? <laughs> One of the first guys I met up here was a producer, right? He invites me to this hotel room. I think something's gonna happen, like he's gonna have me a drink or something. And then boom! He has to ask him. <laughs> he just disappeared. Nothing, nothing, nothing happens. Nothing happens. And then six months later, he found me on Facebook. He typed in my name and found my name and entered and pressed send and he added me on Facebook. It's real fun. Here is with his wife. Y A Y W I F E. What? I can't figure out why they do that. I mean, what is the point? I mean, there's guy after guy after guy I can tell you about who's saying the same And then at a certain point, you start feeling stupid. I finally meet this female casting director, and turns out she just wanted to speak with me too. And I thought, well, at least this will lead to a job, right? And, and, and no, no, no. <laughs> Who can I trust in LA? I mean, I can't trust anybody. There's no one cares about you unless you're somebody, and you're not somebody unless you're somebody. You have to be somebody. So how do you become somebody if you're not somebody? It just doesn't work. No matter how much you try, you can't make yourself somebody. And, and you are? I'm Elenia. Elenia? 
Vimeo. <coughs> you should know that that is one really beautiful man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So are you from here? No, I'm from Europe. Europe? Okay. What brought you here? <laughs> Just for fun. Fun? Uh, yeah, I'm not here for fun. Well, that's why I'm here. Well, unfortunately, I don't have finances right now. But, uh, but who knows? Maybe there's someone down there that I could meet that might might be able to help yeah. me with that. Yeah, I don't know anyone down there, so I guess... I know everybody downstairs. Let me show you. Seriously? Oh, yes, follow oh, me. you are sweet. <laughs> These are all your friends? Yeah. Well, how do you know them? Oh, I don't know anybody over Hi, friends. Yeah. Alright, buddy, I got you a drink. Ah, you are my best friend. <laughs> awesome. I need more friends. Hey, <laughs> are you going all night long? I think so. I think I'm cheers. Ha 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 ha! 
Are you alright? Doug. 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 I better take him home. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Doug, what the fuck, man? What? Don't you ever answer your phone? It's two in the afternoon. Okay, so? I... I passed out, what's up? Yeah, no shit. Well, congratulations. You're gonna miss your audition if you don't hurry the fuck up. What are you talking about? I got you an audition last night with an acclaimed director, Oliver Crowe. What did this happen? Last night. You don't remember? No. Did you get my email? I just fucking woke up. Jesus Christ, Doug. I sent it to you last no. night. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> I'm, I'm just drinking. It. I know. Look, I sent you an email with instructions for your audition later. Do yourself a favor and read it till it gets into your head. Ready or not, this is the big time. I sure don't feel like it. Well, uh, look, Dougie, you got a few hours to do this, all right? And I'm serious. This literally has the opportunity to change your life. Hello? Can I help you? <laughs> yes, uh, my name is Doug Bridgers. I'm here for my audition with Oliver Crow. And do you have an appointment? Hey. Oh, uh, yes, I, I do ha have an appointment. My audition is at three. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Nope. I don't see you anywhere. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but I'm not kidding you. The door is right there. I, I was told to be here before four. Well, sir, if your name isn't on the list, you may not enter. I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. We don't seem to be communicating. My name is Doug Bridgers. I have an addition. And sir, I'm telling you that- It's it... okay, Gladys. He's a last minute fit. Yes, sir. Doug! Please, come in. So you're the golden boy Gil and my meathead producer were talking about. They were talking about me? <laughs> they sure were. They think you're legendary. Walk with me. They were talking about how what a remarkable talent you are and how you've been around the block more than once and how we need to collaborate, work together, and they seem to think that you and I, our talents, we can make one powerful film. Oh, yeah? So what do you think? I still need to see it. You're a little shorter than I expected. You're also a little early. Not what I expected at all. Uh, that's it's a good thing, right? Welcome to my chambers. This is it. This is ground zero. You don't mind just taking that mark whenever you're comfortable.
All righty, let's get started, shall we? Yeah, sure. All right. You know, when we first met, I wasn't sure what to think. Excuse me? Yeah, you were fucking wasted. All right, and action. Dave Douglas? Oh. Hey. As if this day could get any shittier. No sense in crying over a little spilled Irish coffee. The truck is gone. I had to walk home to the shithole, which I'm being evicted from. Another rejection. Just like everything else in this godforsaken town. So I don't need you antagonizing me. <laughs> don't be so dramatic, Doug. Save it for the set. Besides, some people have to walk miles every day. Not in L.A. That's not an option. Take the metro. Take the bus. Get a bike. Get fucked. Without a vehicle, I can't go to my gigs. I can't go to my auditions. Everything I've worked for is coming to a grinding halt. I'm exhausted. I'm done. I don't ever want to hear you fucking say that again. That is the filthy, repugnant speech of the loser, of the forgotten. Sure, you're down. But you're not out. You're dumb, bloody bridges. Soon to be legend in his own time. So the world keeps shitting on you. We'll get you an umbrella. No ride? Put that layabout manager to use. Have him drive you to and fro. You knuckle down and you work harder than you ever have before. Are you fucking kidding me? I put in overtime. Developing backstories for characters who get three lines, if I'm lucky. I put in hours learning dialects and, and speech impediments and memorizing monologues and dialogues of entire fucking scripts in case they want me to read for someone else. Put blood, sweat, and tears in these characters for nothing. If I'm supposed to be this great acting legend, how come no one else knows about it? It's because I'm not special. What else could I have done? What's with this past tense talk? There's no could have done, only what you are going to do now. And there is no other path for you, just back on the horse. I've been deluding myself this whole time. Maybe I could have been happy as a as a carpenter or craftsman. You know, actually making something with my hands, something, something real and fulfilling. Oh, certainly. Build a dog. Let's explore that path, shall we? I'm sure it sounds wonderfully simple and romantic to you, but what it means is early hours with arduous, monotonous labor, rewarded with a pittance of a salary, and maybe a few beers as you drag your beaten corpse into your recliner in time to turn on the TV and watch and fantasize about the glory and glamour of the entertainer's world. You awaken to find yourself in the same spot, unloved, unappreciated. The endless cycle starting anew, sending you through the sickeningly similar motions yet again. The majority of people can hack this life. They know no other, and ignorance is bliss. 
You know why this is not your lot, my boy? Because the fire within you will not let you settle for a mediocrity. It needs you to fuel it and allow it to burn as brightly and hotly as it can. Any other path for you results in you swallowing a gun barrel, and you know this to be true. The delusion is the happy, simple life you think you could have had. If it were going to happen for me, it would have happened years ago. All they want now are hip, buff, empty-headed, pretty boys, and that ship has sailed. Doug, that particular ship was never in the harbor for you to begin with. But that's for an entirely different breed altogether. You're not competing in their meat markets. Yours is a talent that improves with age, informed by hardship and struggle, proper experience. There are no shortcuts, though the path is different for everyone. Unless, of course, you are willing to go the fallacious approach, I suppose. Fallacious? I'm not sucking anyone's dick. And no one is asking you to, Doug, calm down. But you must be willing to do whatever it takes. Sacrifices must be made. I submit. Take my soul. I'll sign my name in blood. Sell my firstborn if I have to. I don't give a shit. Just make it happen, okay? <laughs> no, 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 Doug. What you're referring to are works of pure fiction, I assure you. There is no down on the crossroads, no golden fiddle, no Faustian bargain. The only thing I have to offer you now is wisdom. And trust me when I tell you, you have come too close to what you deserve for you to quit now. I know. You want to leave behind an immortal legacy that stretches to the far corners of the map. To be worshipped by adoring fans, some who have only seen you on a screen. In order for this to be realized, you need to show them the depths of your soul where the infernal monster dwells magnificent and horrifying and unlike anything they have ever seen before. You've been told to make bigger, bolder choices? <laughs> I say take it further. Give them both barrels and blow them away. Show them batshit crazy. Give them a glimpse of Doug's internal inferno. Set yourself above the rabble by venting all of your passions into a unique take. Hold nothing back. Give no quarter. Burn it down, Bridges. <laughs> and when you're not on set, you charm and you schmooze and swallow your pride while eating their shit till you become so integral they wouldn't dream of pissing you off. And then you can tell them all to get fucked and behave however you want, and they'll keep calling you a genius no matter what. Don't play their game, Doug. Be the game. Make them conform to your rules. Everything you've been working to is impending. Don't give up now. Either you slap Destiny on her ass, stick your tongue down her throat, and make a bloody move, or regret and despair spiral out into obscurity. The choice is yours. Okay. So, how long do I have to wait? As long as is necessary, my friend. And in the meantime, you might need to try some new things. But keep working hard, Douglas. I assure you, what you deserve is coming. Deal. <laughs> hypersensitive. He's hypersensitive. Hello? Doug Bridgers, Oliver Crow. Oh, hey Oliver, how's it going? I'm doing great, thanks. Hey, so I watched your audition tape from yesterday and I absolutely loved it. Great work, man. Really? Well, thanks. Anytime, hey. So I sent it over to my producer, Buddy, and he said he liked it a lot, that you're perfect for the part, so what do you say we get you in there about two o'clock? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that sounds great. <laughs> great, great. All right, I'll see you then. All right, bye now. First of all, for me, moral and ethics are really important. And I heard you have 27 clients That's it. in your management team, right? Very big. Okay, you're a boutique company. I am. So for me, that starts to That is the first thing that's important. Now, we've got to know that everybody is suffering some fear. And if we can get together and figure out how to identify the origin of our fear, we can step from happiness. And every person steps from happiness, then you live a happy life. This can totally get rid of depression. This totally answers a question on medication. So the character that you, uh, you know, showed us so far, your acting skills, this little conversation that we had, I really think you'd be a great addition to the family. And I can set it up next Wednesday at 9 o'clock if you like to Thank you so much. Hey, hey. You listening to me? All I'm saying is nothing new anyway. You want the better roles, you need an agent. There's only so much I can do. What if I don't have an agent? That's, that's where you come in, right? Like I said, there's only so much I can do. I don't know if you've noticed, but I need work. I need money. Then get a real fucking job. It's not the end of the world. We all do other things. I need more auditions. What, what's so hard for you to understand? I can't really promise anything. Fucking try and make something happen. What's up your ass? I'm broke, Bill. And I'm being evicted. How'd the audition go? Fine, I guess. <sighs> Meeting with him later today. See? Put in the work. I'm telling you. <laughs> Relax. These things are pretty standard. Who knows? You may get a phone call at the last minute. Am I right? Yeah, I guess. These things happen all the time. And when they do call you, do exactly what they say. Go where they tell you to go, as long as you get paid. I know, but sometimes it's just the way you, you think it's... For the love of God, just... <laughs> do what they say. I sent him over all the all your auditions and some from your manager he sent him over. I've decided that we're gonna get you in on uh, some screen test. Really? Here, let me know when you're ready. It's really hard to convince these guys, you know, and I've, I've spent so much time on this project. I think that you're gonna knock it out of the park. 
thing is, is I got these producer heads trying to tell me how to make my film. You gotta find a middle somehow, and these guys just wanna take over everything. Okay, now wait a minute. They can't do that because it's your vision, right? Right. So, so why are they getting in the middle of your vision? These guys are like, wanna be Hollywood. So I tell them about my script, and they're in. Right. And I'm... I don't even feel like it's my film most of the time, but who am I to say? I tell you who you are to say. You're the visionary. You're the director. You're the guy who's gonna make it. All right, you ready for this? All right, camera speeds and action. It's the most frustrating thing ever when you have an idea and people want to change it. Hey, I, I've lived my whole life like that. You know, I've had that vision just like you, of being an artist and trying to, to, to nurture that. But what happens? There's always someone who wants to get in the fucking way. I want this to stay to its roots. Right. This grungy, rea realistic struggle well, now, of man. Cut. Okay. Great. Um, this time, can we try it again? Let's just do it a little bit more energetic, a little bit more excited, pumped up. When they you know? came on board, did they know what this was about? I mean, that's all I don't understand. I mean, I really agree. And cut. Okay. Um, can we just do it again, Doug? Uh, let's try it a little bit more smooth, you know, a little bit more pizzazz. And action. Right. And then they, they heard me talk about the script for five minutes. Right. I, they probably haven't even read the goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah but I'm in all the way. So, so if you make Good, this like happen, that. you know I'm there. Dedication. We're on the same page. Good. Do not, do not question it, okay? Whatever you need me to do, I'm there for you. Great. And cut. Okay, excellent. Um, this time, let's run it again. Do this one like you want to fucking murder Doug. Like you're going to fucking rip their head off, all right? All right. And action. You call that a blowjob? Um, can we try this one one more time? I want to see it like you're trying to intimidate them, like you want to murder them. I'll tell you this. I've had this recurring dream. I wake up in this Malibu apartment, just beautiful, oceanside view, got a beautiful blonde bombshell passed out across my chest. Up two more half-naked tents serving me a cup of coffee. I look outside, right? And there's another one catching a tent. You know what this tells me? Success. Right around the corner, baby. That. Right around the corner. You and me, we're gonna do this. Yeah, I'm telling you, good. this could be ours. Because this film, it has to work. It's gonna work. I put too much time into it for it not to. So you, you just gotta be perfect. Absolutely. I wanna get back to the roots of what art's supposed to be. Yeah. And so whatever happens after this project, you know, I just want you to know it's just business. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand, and, I, and I'm all in. Whatever you need. Well, I'm all in. All right, all right, man. My man, my man, let's go. do this. Excellent, that was perfect. That was, took my note, ran with it, I loved it, man. Perfect. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, I, I think that's all. Thank you so that's much. No, 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 I think we got it all. We got some variations. Thank you so much for coming in, Doug. Thank you, really, man. It means the world to me, uh, for real. No, no, I really appreciate it. Well, if I know anything, it should be the next couple of days. Okay. Gotta send the footage over to the producers. They already love you, so. That's great. I'll have my receptionist get in contact, if not me. Hey, I look, I look forward to hearing from you. I really appreciate it. Anytime, Doug. It's quite yeah. an experience. I appreciate you coming in. It was an yeah. experience for me, too. All right. Take Thank care. You. Have a good one. See you. Hey, amigo. Hmm. Como esta? Hey, you know why I'm here, right? No. Ah, oh, come on, bro. You know as well as I do. Where will I go? Hey, it's not my problem. Hey, what's the matter? Your wife kicked you out or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, bro, relax. Just listen to me. Just, just relax. I can't. I can't. You know, I'm telling you like it is. You can't stay here tonight. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. 
You can't stay here any longer like this. Well, why not? Why not? Because I run a legitimate business. Because I got paying customers that come in, they stay and they leave. You, you fancy this like as some extended stay hotel or something. Well, you know what, it's not. You're gonna take your shit and get out of here tonight. Hello, you've reached Gil Shepard. I'm not here right now, so please leave your name and number and a reason for calling, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That is, if I'm not too busy in paradise. Oh, uh, yeah, Gil, it's, uh, it's Doug. I I'm in pretty bad shape. I, I, I need you to help me out, okay? Okay, listen, I, I don't know how, how long this, this phone is going to last, so um, I, ne I, I need you to leave... Who could that be? Don't get up. I got it. What are you doing here? Can I come in? No. Look, we, we need to talk. I don't want to hear it. Please, just listen to me. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to do. Fine. Come in. Who the fuck is this? I should go. No. You stay. What you have to say to me, you can say in front of him. Look, I came here today to tell you, you win. You're stronger, you always have been. And I can't live like this without you. There, I said it. Okay. This isn't some kind of pissing contest, Doug. And to be completely frank, I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, I, I, I don't know why I came here today. I just... I have nowhere else to go. I'm completely run out of options and I... I have nowhere else to go, no one to turn to. And, I just... How is that my problem? Hmm? I don't think I'm safe anymore. I... I don't feel like myself. My whole life, I just wanted to be somebody. So I, I could give you whatever you wanted. <laughs> God. You didn't have to be famous to give me that, Doug. All I wanted was a normal life, that's all. <laughs> you couldn't give it to me, so I had to move on. Okay. So, so where do we go from here? I mean, what do I do? Why don't you ask your imaginary friends? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, God, Doug, I have known you a long time. You talk to yourself. 
And to be completely frank, you've always acted like a fucking crazy person. Now, why don't you tell me why you're really here or get the fuck out of my house? So this is it? Yes, I'm afraid so. Good. I hope you're happy. You know, knowing you has been a real nightmare. I should have just left you on that bathroom floor to bleed to death. Oh, it's so funny. You're delirious. You think I tried to kill myself. Oh, my God. You're fucking insane. No, no, I, I know what I saw. You know, I was having a nice, easy day, and then I come home to you, a bloody mess on that bathroom floor. Okay. Why are you here? I need your help. Well, go see a psychiatrist. I'm not interested. I don't know, Lucy. I, I don't know what to do, but be honest with you and come clean. Why won't you listen to me? Because I am not fucking interested. Well, why not? Oh, God. You're such a monster. <laughs> I've wasted my life. Oh, wait, so, so now you're going to say this is all my fault, huh? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You coming here? Yes, it is. It is your fault. Yours. Who do you think you are? You think you're something special. Well, you're not. It's time to get with reality, Doug. You're nothing. You're a nobody. Don't you fucking get it yet? Time has passed you by. It happens. People die. Life goes on. And in the end, you will never do anything remarkable. So you might as well just give it all up. Or even better yet, do us all a favor. Just fucking kill yourself. Disappear. Because the truth is, Doug, nobody cares about you and nobody ever will. You are a drain on everyone and everything, and you always will be. I have done my fair share of torture, so now you're worthless to me. So, if you'll excuse us, we'd like to have our dinner so we can enjoy our evening. If you will just... Let me ask you something. What? Is there any way I could borrow a few bucks? Oh my god. <laughs> you have some fucking nerve. Get out. No, no, yeah, I, I know, but you just somehow get find it in your out heart. of my house. I'm sorry? Get the fuck out. No, no, no. This is my house. Oh, this is not your house anymore. Do you know who you're dealing with? Get the fuck out of my house. Get out. Get out. Get out. You want to bury the truth and live a life of lies? Go for it! I'm going to be chilling in my fucking hot tub, you fucking cunt! Fuck you! Hey! Hey! Wait! Listen to what you said. Well, if I can recommend someone. Who knows? He might be able to help you. Thanks. Yeah, anytime. Sorry, she gets a little testy from time to time. Yeah, I know. Guess I asked for it. Well, have a good night. You too.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I'm Doug Bridgers. I'm an actor. Here, here's my headshot. I would love for you to represent me. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> you can believe this guy. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah, this, this is he. Uh, hey, Oliver, how's it go? What? Uh, y yeah, that, that works, that works perfect for me. Two o'clock? Yeah. Okay, great, great, thanks, Oliver. Uh, hey, l listen, is there anything you want me to wear? Anything specific? Okay. Okay, two, two o'clock, that, that sounds great. Thanks a lot, man. I, I, I'll see you then. Thank you.
reasons for it. Next, Arthur Tinkle, Tinkleberg. Uh, Tinklenberg. It's Tinklenberg. Tinkleberg. Tinklenberg. Tinklenberg. Yeah, thank you. This is all a sham. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. It's not supposed to be a competition. The bean counters, the accountants made it into a competition. And it's not fun anymore. Sex sells. For guys like us, old guys. This business has fucked up my life for the last time. My marriage, everything, it's gone, it's all gone. It wasn't supposed to happen this way. Do yourself a favor. Get out there and live your life. Whatever's left of it. We're too late for our dreams. So it's time to get fucking real, people. How much more potato salad did they require? I need a drink. Yours. Doug, Bridgers, everybody. <laughs> all righty, you ready for this? I'm all set. Let's do this, bad boy. Wait, wait. 
This is the guy? You, the Doug Bridges? Yes, sir. That's me. What have I seen? I've seen you burn out. Burn, right? Burn out. Oh, yeah. I, I did that one a few years ago. When I liked that one, and I saw it when I was in college. One of my uh, favorites. I bet. Liked, I liked what you've been in after that, too. Thanks. That, no, you look different, so I saw it. Okay. Uh, whenever you're ready. All right, Doug. Sorry. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and uh, slate for the camera. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Doug Bridgers, reading for the role of Guy. <clears throat> well, 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 look who it is. And who might you be? I'm the kind of guy crazy enough to take this job. Whoa, 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 okay. All right, that was great, absolutely great. But, um, would you mind still rolling? Would you mind uh, doing these sides, please? Okay. <clears throat> you want me to slide again? No, 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 just go right into it. Okay. I'm Bridget's reading for the role of Ted. <clears throat> yeah. that, 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 hang on, give me a second. Did you like the roast? Eh, too spicy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you always liked my cooking. Yeah, only when it's good. So, what did the Robertsons say? Well, the Robertsons demanded more potato salad. More potato salad? Well, yes. How much more potato salad did they request? Well, I'm not sure. I just know that eventually you can have too much potato salad. Hey man, what the fuck? Seriously? Because I've worked way too hard to be disrespected like this. Be tossed aside like some goddamn rag doll. I'm a motherfucking star, goddammit! Now you get someone in here that can read these goddamn signs, or, or am I just supposed to stand up here with my dick out and try to entertain you? And fail miserably, probably, right? You know what you expect from me? Is that what you want? I mean, is that what you enjoy? Huh? Honestly? I mean, so you just, just fucking tell me if that's what you want. Because I can handle that. But this bullshit with this wrestling and this eating crap, you don't disrespect people like me. You fucking understand that? We're done here, thank you. I, I'm, I'm just fine. Thank you for coming, Bill. That's the fucking guy. Despite his freak out, fuck it, whatever. That's the guy. Look, all I'm saying is this. Either make a decision in the next 48 hours, or we're gonna pull the show. Everybody's replaceable, kid. Even you. Mark my fucking words.
late. Where were you? Just got back from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Yeah. Had a good time. That was great. Finally got away from this shithole, so mission accomplished. So you don't know about the callback? You had a callback? Yeah, I had a callback. Oh, really? Of course, they made me wait forever when I went in and I performed. Good for you. It's over. Just like that. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I'm finished, Gil. Did you even go through with the audition? Yeah. And? It's over. Just like that. Just like that. What happened? Got a little intense. I think I had an anxiety attack. I, I clearly didn't listen to direction. Anyway, I need your help. Help how? I need to borrow a thousand dollars. I know it sounds bad, but, but I can pay you back. That can be arranged. What's it for? Well, if you want the money, Nobody gives a fuck these days. Look, you know you can come to me for anything. I've been doing pretty good lately. Signing clients. Finally starting to see some money coming in. How much? Enough. Well, thanks for everything. Really gonna miss you. I'll see you when I see you.
So, why are we here again, Douglas? All I ever wanted was to perform. Nothing else. Exact. I was good at it. It's the only thing I could ever do if I was to be good at. That was 35 years ago. Here's the deal. I'm somebody. And I, I had a wife. I had a house. And I had a fucking life! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, God, I want to <laughs> What would they give me? I mean, what would they give me? Everything. <laughs> I can have it all, right? I can have it all. I mean, I can have everything I wanted. Fuck yeah, that's what's in fact. You got everything. And I want everything. And I'm going to ride this until I die. So let me tell you what I'm going to do. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to saddle up and take you to the ride. It's Famous, and I don't care what. Nothing in the world is gonna stop me. You got it? Nothing. You can ride along with me, or you can stay off the side, but I'm going there. What do you say? You in? Okay, so, so how much? How much are we talking? No! Fucking forget I don't work for scale anymore, Gil. You know that. Hey, hey, hey! I don't care what they said. You go back in and you renegotiate. You get me my price. Gil. Gil. I don't want to fucking hear you, you understand? Make it happen. That's it. Make it happen. Bye. Wow! 
Nice place. Nice. Hey, I'm digging these floors. Hey, you want some coffee? Um, yeah, I'd love some. She yeah. likes it, so I'm a happy kid. Right. Thanks, hon. Big pleasure. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, it is. It's a good place. It's quiet. Yes, she is. <laughs> so, what's up? So, I got an email. Uh, if we on a Friday, not this Friday, but a couple Fridays from now, show up in Budapest for a private screening of Dire Need, they'll give us a $60,000 cash advance. I mean, we need this. Who knows? Maybe we could push our next project and get 100000 so is there another project? I mean, I want there to be. I got tons of ideas for you, Doug. Hey, so whatever happened to those guys in New York? Oh, God. They, uh, they fled the country. They were being tried for fraud. Seriously? Yeah. Unbelievable. At least we don't have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> those guys were sketchy. After everything we went through with those guys, I... Done with it. Think there's any way we can get some money in Budapest? I think there's plenty of ways to get money in Budapest. Shit, those guys are loaded. As long as you show up and you're you and you do your thing and I'm me, shit. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to shoot our next project in Budapest. Let's do it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a call later on in the week, let you know if anything changes, but right for now. Get your passport ready, buddy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, you bet. All right, well, you guys have a good night. Yeah, have some fun. Don't you go, bud. <laughs> You want some coffee? Yeah, I'd love some. Great, come on out back, we'll get you some. So what do you got for me? All right, hold your horses. What are these? I know some of it sounds dumb, but for most of these, it's just a working title. So they're gonna change it? Yes. These make me look like a jackass? No. Because I don't want to look like a jackass. Why would you? <sighs> Doug, you haven't worked in months. Well, because you've brought me shit like this. No. Just this. No. You landed a lead role and it happened to be a hit. Now you have offers coming in. Finally. And what? You don't want to look like a jackass? I mean, now is not the time to be selective. Do you want to continue to act and keep up this lifestyle? Make money? You know, working for you is a constant struggle. I never said it was going to be easy. You, you know that, that to... don't you? Well, that's the whole point, if you think about it. I mean, you're supposed well, no, to... No, let me explain that's... something to you, Doug. Nobody's gonna wanna work with you if you keep holding yourself back. You have to embrace challenges head on. Besides, what you do is easy. <laughs> I see kids do it all the time. I can waste my time with them instead. All I want is a real script, not this shit you keep bringing me. For the love of God, Doug. Just do what they say. Go where they tell you to go. And you'll always be able to play and just do whatever you want to do. Here's one where you play an insurance salesman. That's what you wanted, right?
Maybe he commits murder or something. <laughs> Look, I can only do so much. Oliver stopped by today. And? And I'm going to Budapest in the next couple of weeks after this shit show you got me on is over. And then I'm firing you. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Did you forget who got you this far? I thank you for helping me get this far, but I'm gonna take my career in a whole different direction. I wanna go a little further. That's why you're fired. Nothing personal, just business. Wow. Nothing personal, just business. Awesome. Thank God you're here. <laughs> hey, we're hey. missing for the world. How's it going? <laughs> Good. Come on over here. We got everything set up for you. Okay. We're running a little late, but we should pick up the slack <laughs> after lunch. No but problem. If you just have a seat. Right here. Yeah. We'll be right with you. Thanks. Huh? 